morning everybody welcome back to another vlog it's about 10 15 a.m right now and i'm getting ready to head out to do a day of filming oh i'm filming a main channel video and then i'm also meeting up with my good friend lyra she's one of my best friends from high school in tennessee and she lives out here in la and i love spending time with her and her little baby so we're gonna do like our usual thing we get together every couple weeks and like either walk around get coffee shop etc and today we're going to reformation so i was like i might as well film a fitting room video while i'm there so i'll be doing some filming for my main channel and i'm just getting ready to head out the door in a few i am so tired today so i definitely foresee like a nap happening in my future i feel like i've had a really busy week of like a bunch of social plans and like last weekend as well and then after like that weird sort of cold i had i don't know i'm just trying to get back in the swing of things and then after today after i finish you know my last like thing on my schedule for today i am taking the entire weekend and doing nothing and i'm so excited about it oh hello hi moo oh you're going to steal layla's water he has his own water but he prefers hers and yes that is her food that spilled over at the edge of the bowl we're not gonna talk about it so anyway before i get my shoes on and head out the door here in a few minutes i got a very exciting package in the mail i thought we could open it up together so i got this lovely package from brooklinen they are sponsoring today's vlog thank you so much to them i am so obsessed with brooklinen you would probably know by now if you've been watching the vlogs it is the only sheets that we will have on our bed in this household high quality bed sheets are obviously really expensive so brooklinen gives you like the quality and the comfort by cutting out the middleman which we love and right now it's very exciting brooklinen is having a huge black friday sale and all brooklinen products are 20 percent off until the end of the month they don't really do sales like this very often so definitely take advantage of it just click the link in the description box below and the discount will be automatically applied at checkout and we're gonna open my newest package i actually picked out a sheet set for when we have guests in town and we've had like a lot of guests coming to visit us lately my dad's coming to town in a couple weeks so we wanted to get some nice sheets on the bed and brooklinen is legit honestly they have over a hundred thousand five star reviews which is more than any other online bedding company and their sheets are just tried and true like honestly so comfortable and they don't just feel right they look great too like they're just so aesthetically pleasing you can choose and mix and match from over 20 different colors and patterns what i got for our guests is the Lux hardcore sheet bundle which is my favorite drew and i have two sets that we rotate between and like they're so good i like getting the hardcore bundles because instead of purchasing individual items you can save 25 percent by bundling them and in the bundle you get the core sheet set you get a duvet cover and extra pillowcases as well and these Lux sateen sheets are a best seller they're so comfortable they're very luxurious they have like a luminous finish to them with 480 thread count and it's just super easy because you can shop from the comfort of your own home you can create a bundle choose from all the different colors and pattern options you can mix and match it's super easy we stand brooklyn in this house i absolutely love it so i'm gonna get these in the wash so they're nice and fresh and clean for our guests and then go about the rest of our day but yeah make sure you check out their black friday sale click the link below they're the best i seriously love them so much i just realized that i'm literally starving so before i head out the door i'm actually gonna make some toast I don't really make toast that often, but toast used to be like one of my main food groups. I'm just a toast girly. Like, toast is a good struggle meal. It's a good hangover meal. It's a good snack. There's so many different things you can put on it. You can put avocado, you can put sweet stuff. I'm just doing peanut butter right now. I'm not like that big on peanut butter at the moment because of my parosmia, but it's filling, it's got protein. Peanut butter toast is just like iconic. I love butter toast. I love cookie butter on toast. I love almond butter on toast. I love bananas and peanut butter on toast. I need to get my shoes on because I need to head out the door here in just a few minutes. I'm gonna try to get there a little bit early because I need to film, you know, all of my stuff for like my main channel video. If I sound tired this morning, it's because I am. My vlogs got a little bit out of order, but I did go to Disneyland yesterday with Sierra. So you will see an entire dedicated vlog to that in the next vlog. And we got home super late got home at like midnight and we had so much fun but i am dead today
Okay, just absolutely scarfed that down. Um, probably gonna have a stomach ache, but I've gotta run. So this is my outfit of the day. These are the pants that I got from Hollister a couple months ago, and I've been trying to find like different ways to wear them. They're like this cute kind of cargo style pant, and they're really stretchy and very comfortable. They are a little bit big, but I like them oversized. And then this shirt I got, like honestly, I might've gotten on thread up or something. Um, it's from Express and I've had it for years. Or maybe I got it from like actually Express, I'm not sure. Got my platform Converse on, my hair is up in a clip and we are gonna hit the road. I feel like I need to preface this next part for context because I was obviously filming a main channel video so you wouldn't have seen everything that was happening but essentially I chose to go to a store called Reformation. They are a sustainable size inclusive brand that's based here in LA. All of the trendy it girls are wearing it so I thought let's go try it out. I've tried it before in a main channel video. They had some controversy a couple years back. Some like really bad stuff with like racism within the company. They like you know don't have the same upper management or like CEO anymore or anything like that. So I was like let me try it out for a fitting room video. That would be really fun. And I've had some friends who have gone specifically to this location that I went to who have said oh my gosh it's the coolest fitting room experience experience ever. There's like iPads, they bring stuff to you. And I was like, oh my gosh, this sounds like a dream come true for a fitting room. However, I know that Reformation only carries like limited items in extended sizes. So I was like, let me go ahead and reach out beforehand just to make sure that like I'm not gonna be embarrassed. You know what I mean? I reached out via like the contact page on the website. There was a phone number that you could text and I said, hey, do you offer extended sizes in your store or at any of your stores in LA? And they said, yes, this specific location does offer extended sizes in store so come on in and check it out and I was like awesome so I planned an entire day of filming around it I went into the store I was all happy-go-lucky I was so excited and then this is what happened well that was a lot more short-lived than I anticipated um <laughs> I went into the store and I started looking around and I realized that it's like a showroom where they have like one of each item on the floor and then you ask for whatever kind of like size or you know if you want like a different color or whatever and then they bring it to you in the fitting room so i was like okay i was like looking around i was kind of like hmm i don't really see any of the extended size stuff like everything is a size extra small and i know that they carry up to an extra large but their extra large does not fit me so a girl came up to me and said hi do you want to try anything on and i said yeah actually i would love to try a lot of stuff on um do you carry extended sizes here like i'm not seeing any on the floor and she was like no we don't and I was like oh really she was like yeah no and I was like do you carry them at the other location like on Melrose and she goes no we're the biggest location in LA she was like we only offer extended sizes online and I was like okay I'll just go jump off a cliff bye I'm gonna post the screenshot here of the text message that I got from the employee at Reformation where she said that they carry extended sizes in store and that was like the reason I came here and I know it's not the end of the world but sometimes it does feel like brands just offer a few extended size items to like cover their ass essentially like not because they actually care about plus size people wearing their clothes but more just because they're like here see we said we offer extended sizes they're only online and it just feels kind of performative so I mean I don't understand why brands do this because you offer extended sizes why don't you carry them in store like why do plus size people not get to try on your clothes that you make in their size in store. Like make it make sense to me. My first thought was when I was leaving the store, first of all, so embarrassing. Like no one said anything to me. I literally just left. I kind of want to cry right now. I'm not going to. I don't expect like everyone to cater to me and my size and my needs or whatever, but it was a really embarrassing experience. That was really embarrassing. And I don't know, like part of me was, you know, walking to my car thinking like, oh, I'm just going to scrap this entire thing. I'm going to delete it but I don't 
think I'm going to. Now I'm like, no, I think that this is probably an experience that a lot of people have, and especially people in larger bodies than me. Plus size people shouldn't have to beg to be like included in the conversation. I don't know. It's completely like deflated me. And I really feel like crap about myself. And I have made probably going on like 30 of these fitting room videos throughout my YouTube career. And this is the first time I have ever felt like this. I feel like I'm pretty good. I do my due diligence to like make sure that my size is carried at the location that I'm trying to go to. I don't go to brands where I'm not going to be able to fit into the clothing. I do try to like go into these videos doing a lot of research on size availability size range, the fit, etc. And I felt like this was going to be such a cool experience because I've heard so many good things about the fitting room and how you can like pick things on a tablet on the wall and then they bring it to you. It like appears. And I really was looking forward to having that experience and I feel like shit now. It's really sad. Why offer those pieces on your website but not in your stores? Like, I don't understand. And it's like, the excuse is always, well, no one comes in and tries it on or no one buys it. And it's like, gee, I wonder why. I just can't get over the text message that was like, come on in and see what we have to offer. Try on some cute styles. And I was like, okay. And I brought my happy ass here. And now I'm leaving feeling like garbage. It is just a really not fantastic experience to have an employee be like, no, we don't carry your size here. <laughs> so anyways, okay, whatever, change of plans. My friend and I, we're gonna head to the Grove and we're just gonna like shop around and hang out and get some steps in instead. So anyways, I tried. lie I came home and Drew was still working and I woke up and it was three hours later and I am not kidding <laughs> I had a text from Drew and he goes hello question mark and everything in the house was pitch black it was like dark outside and I texted him back and I was like hello <laughs> and he had fallen asleep for like two of those hours so we were just very tired and I'm not gonna lie, we ordered Jack in the Box on Postmates because we're trash. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. But I thought I would show you what I got at Sephora because I forgot. I like woke up and was like, oh, I forgot I bought some stuff at Sephora. See, we turned this day around. Love that. Yeah, so, Reformation, you piece of the shit. <laughs> Drew told me I should have been a Karen. <laughs> I was like, no. I'm... I said you should have wrote a strongly, oh, yeah, strongly worded email. email. <laughs> It's just because like everyone's boomer parents, like <laughs> they all like write emails when they're upset about something. Anyways. Okay, so the first thing I got is a purple shampoo by Kerastase. This was so expensive. <laughs> uh, what was I doing? It was $38 for a shampoo. Honestly, purple. I'm in a silly goofy mood right now and I'm just gonna be honest. I'm going back to herbal essences after this because my hair has never looked worse than when I've started using like good quality hair products. And I don't know if it's also because I like fried the shit out of my hair after going from red back to blonde. But um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, it smells really good. That's what I mean. Is it worth $30? I don't know. We'll find out. But I do need a new purple shampoo because I'm gonna get my hair done on Thursday in like a few days and I need to have a new purple shampoo. I got a new eyelash curler. This is by Shiseido. It's a Japanese brand. But there was, excuse me, there was another one called like Shu Imura and that was like the popular one. But now they, I think they've pivoted to like hair products because I didn't see any of their eyelash curlers, but I needed a new one. I think I literally have had mine for 15 Ooh, years. We were there, we were in there. Yeah, we were in Ginza. Oh, I see. I know. Super fancy. Then <clears throat> I got a beauty blender. I haven't had a beauty blender in like 
Honestly, it has to be 10 years. And I don't know, I've just been seeing a lot of people using them lately. Um, next I got a milk primer. This is the Pore Sorry, Eclipse. I don't know why I'm in here. Yeah. <laughs> Drew's folding laundry behind me in case you were wondering if you're like, really? what got, is this chaotic? I got milk. <laughs> I got some milk. I got this Milk Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. I tried it on my hand and I was like, it actually does like blur your pores. And I got like the little travel size to test it out. So we will see about that. I've heard good things about the Hydro Grip one, but I need more of like a blurring. I have a very textured face. Then I got a full size of this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day shampoo. This is really good, or sorry, dry shampoo. Um, I tried the travel size of this and it's good. So I bought the full size. And then the last thing I got was this brand that I've been meaning to try. The brand is called Day. And it's actually um, a girl named Amber Fillerup. She's an influencer, etc. She used to be like the hair goddess on Pinterest. She always had those like big braids and stuff. Um, she lives in Arizona and she started this brand and they always have like kind of deserty kind of ingredients. Like they have like prickly pear and stuff like that. And so I got the signature conditioner. I'm running low on conditioner and this has coconut oil, moringa seed oil and false daisy extract. So there we go. I have not tried this. I have no idea, but I wanted to support a fellow AZ girl. So there we go. That's my Sephora haul of unnecessary things for $100. Layla is crying because our food is coming. So we're gonna go enjoy our Jack in the Box and we will catch up with you another day. Goodbye. Good morning and happy Sunday. Today we are going to do our usual Sunday routine. We're going to Trader Joe's, possibly Target, and then maybe the farmer's market later. So we're just having like a nice wholesome Sunday. It's like a nice chilly morning. I'm seriously living my best life. We took Layla for a nice long walk and now we're gonna go get some coffee first and then like run a couple of errands. So I thought I'd bring you along with. I have a very cozy, basically pajamas outfit on right now. Layla is in fact going to be in this because it's harder for her to get up, but I'm wearing this thrifted sweatshirt that I got in like, I think a mystery thrift box. I'm wearing my new ribbed flare high rise leggings from Airy, and then my fake Uggs and we're hitting the road. Also, I just have to say before we go, my lashes, have never been this long naturally in my entire life. That lash serum really did something. I literally like when I put on my mascara like that and I'm like doing it on my bottom lashes, my top lashes touch my eyebrows. That's just simply never happened to me, so. I'll leave the link down below. The one that I got was expensive, but I switched to a less, like a cheaper one, a less expensive one. So we'll see if that one ends up working. But yeah, I'm just sitting here like, whoa. I've never had lashes like this before. Very exciting. First stop, going to Target. It's not a trip to Target without smelling all yeah. the holiday candles. I don't like it. You don't like it? No. Maybe, oh, I love maybe that. It was too intense for me. Oh. Apple cinnamon joy. I don't smell the cinnamon, but I do smell the apple. I want all of these. Ooh, better bird. Herbs. Our target run is done. Next stop, Trader Joe's. Okay, we're home. I didn't really film that much when we were out. That's okay. We're gonna do a very, very quick haul. We went to Target and Trader Joe's. As you saw, I got a lot of stuff. We got an eggplant. Oh yeah. Drew got these PB and J bars. Let us know if these are good or not. Um, never had them before. We got two of these noodle things, these like Thai noodles we're gonna try. I got the peanut satay flavor and Drew got the red curry flavor. I think that's in another bag. We got celery. We got miso crunch salad kit. Crunch. I got this last time, it was really, really good. We got some tomatillo salsa, some Brussels sprouts. Got a little thing of eggs. The other eggs are good. Oh, they are? Okay, that's fine. Now we have 18. We have 18 eggs to use. This tangerine juice freaking hits. I'm not like crediting it for, sorry, it's okay. I'm not like crediting it for healing me when I was sick, but like it definitely helped. And we also have some jiggly, jiggly, 
giggly <laughs> pasta. Next up, we have some sourdough bread. We want to make BLTs this week. These almond butter covered almonds are delicious. The cashews are good too, but I only got one this time. We got some tomatoes on the vine. We got some summer squash and we got some zucchini to make that pasta again. We made it a few vlogs ago. We got some shishito peppers. Yum. Drew had some last night. I smell those, they smell good. We got an English cucumber. Very large and in charge. We got some asparagus. If you couldn't tell, we're trying to like put more vegetables in our body because we've just really not treated ourselves very kindly. French fries don't count as well. So many French fries. I'm oh, showing I'm so sorry. <laughs> We got some green beans, lemony arugula basil salad kit. That sounded delicious. It has like some apples and dressing. We got jicama wraps for tacos. Um, Drew and I both really like jicama and that just sounded kind of good and like crunchy. So we got those to try. Drew got two of these vanilla overnight oats, the Trader Joe's brand. He likes those. We got some frozen hash browns. These are mm, superior. They're so good in the air fryer. I got a bunch of these egg bites. Um, I got the one with egg whites with cheese, spinach, and kale. And then the other ones with cheddar cheese and uncured bacon. We got everything in the Elote Greek style yogurt dip. I forgot to get potato chips, or um, tortilla chips, but it's fine. No worries, we'll make it work. Um, so like, if we make like tacos or whatever, we can put them on there. We got some roast chicken. Because I'm really lazy when it comes to like cooking things. Well, that'd be nice to like roast salad. Yeah, exactly. We got two of the Hold the Cones. Drew likes the vanilla flavor. I like the chocolate chip flavor. I got another one of my chicken wraps with pesto vinaigrette. It has like sun-dried tomatoes, feta. It's delicious. We got some vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. This is what we use on the pasta that we make. We got some Parmesan cheese. We got some uncured apple smoked bacon. That looks pretty good. Drew got these boba kits. These are really good. Um, and that you just like stick the little packs in the microwave and then it comes with a little boba straw and you just add your milk. We got some borzen cheese. We got some hot Italian sausage. We got some salmon. We got two things of rice. One of these is the just like jasmine rice. Those are so easy to make in the microwave. And then we got the Spanish style rice as well. We got some beautiful hydrangeas. Drew picked those out. That's a very long stem. We got my golden kiwis, of course. Naturally, um, we have, oh yeah, here's the red curry Thai style noodles, noodles that Drew got. I got two more of these almond butter cups, these dark chocolate almond butter cups, because they were real good. We have a chomps turkey stick. He got three of these albacore tunas. He likes these better than the regular brand now, like regular grocery store. Some Thai style yellow curry sauce. You just do like chicken, peppers and onions, and this over rice. It's delicious, very easy meal. We got some bananas. I want to get any bell pepper. Um, Dang it. I mean, it'll last. I got a butternut squash, a tiny little one because I was feeling ambitious. I also got a shallot, some garlic, two onions, and a sweet potato. And there we have it. That's our Trader Joe's haul. We also got a bunch of stuff at Target, but I'm honestly not showing that because I'm too lazy. So anyway, we'll check in in a bit. Oh, and my microphone was pointing the wrong way the whole time. Hope you heard me. Okay, and now begins, we just stuffed our face with breakfast. It was so good, we made breakfast sandwiches. But now um, we're just gonna have like a nice, lazy, chill, very cozy Sunday and um, I'm going to take a little break because Vlogmas is coming up and that is extremely mentally taxing and exhausting. It's just a lot. So I just wanna give myself a break. Um, before I begin, obviously I'm sure you understand, but I won't be here until December 1st, 2nd. I think I'm gonna do like a modified version of Vlogmas this year. I think I'm gonna do maybe like 12 days of Vlogmas like I've done in the past. I wanna say this will be my third year doing that. So that feels a little bit more manageable for me. If you have any Vlogmas suggestions or things that you want to see please leave them in the comments below because i want to have so much fun with vlogmas this year we're in like this cute new apartment it's our first christmas season back in la and like yeah i just want to have like all of the fun cozy vibes so if you want to see like advent calendar stuff if you want to see more british stuff like british candy chocolates if you want to see specific like us reviewing trashy netflix christmas movies whatever definitely leave them in the comments i cannot wait to spend vlogs with you i'm so excited i'm already working with someone on a nice little vlogmas intro so that'll be really fun and exciting. So I have one more vlog going up after this and it's going to be, cause I kind of like 
things just needed to be filmed out of order. But the vlog you will see after this one will be my last one before Vlogmas, and it's a full Disney day with me and Sierra. We had so much fun together and we both vlogged the whole day. So yeah, I'm gonna change into some like pajama pants, honestly, probably. And then just like chill for the rest of the afternoon. But thank you so much for watching this vlog. Thank you for being here. I hope you're as excited for Vlogmas as I am. I am like seriously so pumped. I cannot wait. Don't forget to check out Brooklyn Inn. You can click my link in the description box below. They're having their big Black Friday sale. You can get 20% off. That's seriously such a good sale. They don't do these very often. So make sure you click down there and then the discount will be applied at checkout. I cannot vouch for Brooklyn and Sheets enough. They're the comfiest sheets I have ever slept on. We always sleep great. Thanks so much to them for sponsoring this vlog and I will see you very soon. The next vlog will be a Disney vlog and then after that we're taking a little break and then we'll be back for Vlogmas. So see you then. Bye!